guys, welcome back today to another video, episode 21 of the Chelsea career mode. Now in the last episode, things didn't go to plan. I know, I know you're probably sick of hearing that. I, I'm sick of saying it because it's not going well at all. We've got one point in the first four league games. We've lost three of those four league games by two goals to one. And this time we play on the Sunday against Leicester. At the end of the last episode, we had a nil-nil draw at home to PAOK or Pauk or however you say the name in the Europa League first game. We're going to do a little bit of training though. We're going to give a few players a couple of sessions before that Leicester game, which, well, we, we played three of our four matches at home, which means this one against Leicester is a must win. Obviously, we've got Antoine Griezmann now as well. He's yet to score for us. But Marco Royce scored a very good goal against Man United. I feel as though we are very close to turning a corner though because we played well. We just haven't had the results to actually complement that which is a little bit annoying. Charlie Masonda is still playing as a left wing back because Azpilicueta has been injured. Don't think he's too far away from returning though. We're gonna do a bit of training right now and see what's going down. Come on, give us something good. Go on, give us some A's. B for Griezmann on the old dribbling. Right then, away at Leicester City. Let's go and take a look at where Leicester are in the table. They're seventh, they've won three out of four, whereas we've lost three out of four. If we win this, could move up as high as, well, nothing really, 14th or 15th. But we could leapfrog Liverpool, who are yet to score a goal in five matches. Take a look at that. Griezmann up top instead of Costa. Yes, brilliant news. And Azpilicueta as well. That's pretty big, actually. Uh, we'll take Fabregas off there, then Bele in for, for Mbolo. Masonda's gonna come off, and Azpilicueta back in and we're not going to have Masonda in the squad for this one. It's worth begging the question, if we had Leicester City winning the league and then Stoke City last season, who's going to win it this year? That's what I want to know. It's looking like Arsenal at the moment. We can't have that. We're against Leicester. They've still got Riyad Mahrez in their team. It looks like they've still got Jamie Vardy in their team and also Islam Slimani. Come on, three points is 100% pivotal in this one. Brilliant play again from Royce. Now Griezmann is round the back. He's done, oh, Rakitsky. He's been around for a while. I'm a scat man. Nice, lovely little knock again. It's Royce, great goal, come on. One nil to Chelsea. Marco Royce, he had a similar position a moment ago, put it over. But that is an assist for Ro for Griezmann and a finish for Royce. Nice little play, lovely little ball. Looked like the angle was pretty tight, it's a good goal. Uh oh. Oh, jeez Louise, that was close. How? How and what has happened to Royce? He is injured apparently. Only just started the second half, he has been the main man in this match. Hopefully, we can shake it off. No, oh sugar. Play on, he's got oh, the advantage played. I genuinely thought he'd already blown the whistle. Vardy puts it in to make it 1-1. One, one. Look at that awful challenge from Slimani. First time from Vardy and it is 1-1. One, one. We've got a mountain to climb again. Well, it's not really a mountain, but victory is the only option for us here. So we do need to score again without conceding another one. But they started off the second half well. Have Leicester City. Here is Marco Royce again. Go on, that's Pilaqueta. Can we create an opportunity here? Tries to find Royce. Royce, come on. No. It's Vardy again. Oh, what a save. Yes, Nangolan has won that ball back. And he has played a nice ball in to Royce. Come on, yes! Get in there! Marco Royce, he deserves that. He could have had three or four goals today. He's got his second in the 88th minute. Nangolan wins it back in the middle. That is why he's in the team. He's strong can play that final ball and Royce with the finish we could be on our way to our first win of the season here guys we're gonna go we're literally gonna park the bus we're, oh okay bit of roughy tufty between Griezmann and Nijngolen there it's like the Belgium and France connection that isn't really a connection going on <sighs> yes come on there is a victory we start off the episode with a 2-1 win at Leicester two goals for Marco Royce well, we're going to take a look at the player ratings. 8.8 .8 for him, 8.3 for Griezmann. Mangolan and Kante also having good games. That's a great win. Okay, do a little bit of training. Going to do exactly the same previous sessions before we play Arsenal in the Cup. It's a three-game episode today. The last one was a two-game episode. 
Good bit of, okay, better stamina now for Masonda. Another B for Griezmann in the gold training session. The tough thing is, this is a competition that we want to win. The other problem is we need to rest some players. So Costa's going to start up front. Barkley's going to go over to the left. And Bolo's going to continue on the right. Chelsea-Arsenal, it's a huge cup game. Right then, Diego Costa, show me why you still belong in this Chelsea team. He's not really done anything wrong, to be honest. He was our best striker last season. It's just we've got plenty of numbers and youngsters waiting to come in. Here he is, though. Giving it away instantly. Great. Chalabar, that's going to fall all the way to Barkley in the middle. Costa, get in! 1-0 after five minutes against Arsenal. Petr Cech is in goal. Should have stayed a blue, mate. Diego Costa, that is a big statement from him. We've got Arsenal in the league at the weekend. Good play from Barkley as well. What a perfect ball in. Ideal. Aaron Ramsey. Deflected. Come on, keep it in. Yes, Charlie Masonda. Love that. Brilliant play. We are playing some extraordinary football here. Out of nowhere. Now Alexis Sanchez. Brilliant tackle again from Aina. Kieran Gibbs and Bolo comes back brilliantly. Good defending. No. Uh -oh. No. Oh my word, if that would have gone in, that could have been the best goal I've ever conceded on FIFA. As you can see, Arsenal have dominated possession. They probably deserve a goal from this half. David Luiz, brilliantly up. Go on, Costa. Brilliant play from Diego Costa. That is exceptional. Half-time whistle has gone. That is not good. Offside. Okay, it's fine. Cool. Nice. So the interesting thing about this is there are some players that I would not have considered for the starting 11 against Arsenal. For example, Mbolo has been absolutely brilliant down that right-hand side. So has Aina. But can we really take Dembele out of the team? And also Carvajal, who have been very, very good for us. Well, relatively good for us in the league. I can't say anyone's been too good because we're not doing well at all. But in the cup competition, especially the League Cup here... We're doing all right. Still a long way to go in this one, though, so let's not get too carried away. Uh-oh, that's dangerous. That's dangerous. Giroud, Christensen is chasing him down. Ramsey, brilliant save. Walcott into Giroud. Good save. Come on. Let's keep ourselves a clean sheet going into that league game, which is also at Stamford Bridge. It's a replica. Question is, how many changes do we make to this team? Oh! Okay, full time. We are into the fourth round, the last 16 of the League Cup. Okay, let's make some changes. I think we're gonna, we're definitely gonna keep Griezmann in. We are going to put Nine Golan back in the team. Sanchez did very well in that last game. Belly's got to be at least on the bench. He doesn't deserve to be dropped. So we will put. Tamori off the bench. So despite talking a lot about making a load of changes, we've kept Mbolo in the team, we've kept Sanchez in the team, Royce comes back in, Barkley is on the bench. Carvajal rem remains the number one choice league right back, even though Aina was absolutely fantastic in the last one. Here is Mbolo once more, finds Masonda, who's also kept his place, the head of Azpilicueta. Oh no. Already free kick in a dangerous spot for Arsenal. Alexis Sanchez is going to take it. Oh, good play. Again, here's Griezmann. Can he get it onto his left? He can! Oh, Griezmann had the whip on it. He's had chances so far in his early Chelsea career. No goals as of yet for the big, big money signing. 90 million and Batshuayi, so probably about 120 million pounds worth of a transfer. No goals yet, though. One thing I do know is we do not deserve to go behind here in this first half. No. I can't. Carvajal. That is a shambles. Alexis Sanchez, if you give him the ball in that position, he's not going to miss. Oh, it's awful. It is disgraceful. Nice. Royce. Kante. Mbolo is on. Oh! Is off, was it offside? No, it wasn't offside. Gave a goal kick. He, oh, should have scored. Benucci's done well. We're holding our ground again. Kante now to Sanchez. Griezmann. Okay, Royce is on. 
Royce is in. One touch forward. Royce to make it 1-1. That's just awful luck. That is disgusting, bad luck. Marco Royce could have made it three and two league games. Oh, man. No. We're going to lose. Is that Bellerin? Hector Bellerin is all the way up there. Jeez Louise. All right, we are 2-0 down against Arsenal. We, we don't deserve it, but you guys don't care. I don't care. But it doesn't matter what we deserve. We just need to win matches of bloody FIFA. Well, like I said, at the end of the cup match, doesn't matter what happens three days earlier in the League Cup. We've lost in the league 2-0 at home to Arsenal, which is the fourth defeat from the opening six matches. Four points from the first six games. We had chances, not enough on target. Now, the big worry is we're doing fine in the Cups. We're not doing well enough in the league, which makes me worried about my bloody job again, which has been an overriding factor of the entire series. The next match is against Rangers in the Cup. We're going to do exactly the same drills as we did in the previous one. This is where we're going to wrap up this episode, guys. Two wins and a defeat. Our first Premier League win, but it was backed up by nothing against Arsenal in the Premier League. We're into the last 16 of the Cup. We've got Rangers up next in the Europa League. Arsenal are in absolutely outstanding form. St. Etienne and the other team in the Europa League group, so we're obviously going to have to play against them again soon. But yeah, we're going to play against Rangers in the next one. See you all there. Bye.